our one party state, we are building roots of a very important type of democracy, not necessarily Western, but our own, rooted in our own culture, of which we are very proud. One of the cornerstones of our democracy is a free press, free press. But one has to be very careful to distinguish between a free place and licentious behavior, or is it misbehavior? Of late, of late these papers have been used by dissidents who are the flying club here. They have now reached a point where they are able to say, using the Times of Zambia, that leaders must be assassinated. And I refer to Elias Chipigo's uh, statement that was reproduced by the Times of Zambia. I will read it for the sake of the nation. Members of the public who may be listening to me now might not have seen what this report says. Front page. It says, Times of Zambia, Monday, April 21, 1980. Third world urged to change party systems, Mr. Chipimo, by Times reporter. A prominent and eliminating the disgraceful tendency of presidents ending up with bullets in their heads. Mr. Chipimo, a former high commissioner to Britain, was addressing a dinner of Ndola branch of the Law Society of Zambia over the weekend. He did not have lodged over the ordinary masses, creating a society where the haves are obscenely wealthy and they have not really have nothing to boast about except their poverty and their children whom they tend to breed like rabbits, especially to the OA you can do to halt the widening gap between the rich and the poor in Africa. The problem Today is 22nd, tomorrow is 23rd, 12 hours. I want a reply from the Senate Bank of Zambia, from London, from their head, not locally. Now, before I come to Mr. Chimo, the number of people who have served this government, in this part of government, the colonial time. He fought against the NIP. In spite of that, because of my belief in God, I prayed day and night that I personally should love my God with all my heart, with all my soul, my mind, and my strength. I pray to God every night that he gives me sufficient love to love my fellow men as I love myself, to do unto them, at least to try and do unto them, as I like to do my, and them to do unto me. I pray to God to ask to give me chance to be forgiven, to do good even unto those who do wrong against me. On this basis, I appointed Elias Chipimo High Commissioner to London. On trees, like human beings, at least some of them anyway. I mean, it's that mentality. Money does not grow on trees like in human beings, at, at least some of them anyway. Not even a biggest democracy, 600 million people. There was an attempt on her life, 
A few days before I arrived there, Kitumo doesn't know that. Really, for the information of Mr. Kitumo, I have never been a coward. Never. Never. I'll go to my grave smiling, I tell you. Because I have done the level, my level best for my country, for Africa, for the world as a whole. So I'm not afraid of dying. Never. I am not a coward. Even today, I'm ready to have a blade prepared by Eras Kitumo, thrown into my, my head. I'll go to my grave six feet down, so I'll see two meters down. What will happen behind? We can only go by what Ghana happen, happened in Ghana. The military killed each other, one state after another. Aiming up the Lieutenant Colonel who? Lieutenant uh, Captain who? Rollins. Rollins. Shooting a whole shoot of them. Who shot the others before them? They are all dead. The man who led the coup against Nkrumah, Kotoko, was one of the first to be killed. Not one. Yet the socialist system is, is fairly new. The oldest is uh, Soviet Union. What is it now? How many years? 60 what? Mm. Or 60. Today we are celebrating 110th birthday of uh, Lenin. And we praise that giant of thinker, or a giant among men, a thinker, an activist. 60 years only. Uh, 63 or so, so uh, about that. 2017, my arithmetic is gone. There is not a single coup in those countries. No assassinations. None. But this man, I don't know where he gets his history from. Filthy, filthy thinking. All right. Betray their thinking. Now, this editorial in Sunday Times saying we've done nothing. Married with the editorial tomorrow, yesterday rather, where the Times is talking about the chapter should read it for the sake of those who are listening who have not read it. This is the Times of Zambia yesterday. Action against any of our colleagues. And there is a long list which the Times of Zambia is not prepared to refer to. Some are very late in joining the list of those who have fallen. Comedy Sukombe is one. Comedy Sukombe Banda is another. And there's a whole lot, a chain of them from independence to now. But that man, Scott Awina, a young man I have love and respect for. Even now, I mourn that he was forced to fall like he did. I mourn for him. I hope God can make him come back into public life again and contribute. He's a brilliant mind. He collapsed. I did not bury what he did. It was this place here where I told him to go. I wept, but I had pronounced it. He had to go. I wept afterwards, bitterly, that I'd lost a stalwart like that. But he had to go. The Times of Zambia has the cheek to say that I'm hiding these things. Impasha Commission, have I hidden anything? A lot of talk for some rubbish MPs has gone on. We are hiding something, we are hiding something. We hide nothing. And Times of Zambia is responding to that type of cheap propaganda. Destabilization. Destabilize Zambia so that a coup can take place. Then they'll rejoice. Two nations' names, they have to be investigated. And the truth proved truth or otherwise, or the accusation proved. We have taken steps to do that. We deleted some names because we believed that there was no sufficient evidence. 
Because you can only publish names if you think you've got sufficient evidence. I want to hide. Nothing. These are serving interests of the enemies of this country. And I'll soon discover who they are. I'll soon discover who they are. Who their masters are. I'll find out.